Hey there, it's Perry with Paper Crafting Threads. Today I have easy origami Christmas trees from Circles. Let's get started. I'm using the deckled circle dies to cut my circle. The largest die is about six inches across. I thought the deckled edges would look really great for this tree. And I chose the Winter Meadow DSP for my paper. I cut a six inch square and die cut my circle. Then I cut my circle in half at two and seven eighths. I'm sponging blueberry bushel ink on both sides of the deckled circle. I like to start with the cut edge towards the left. And how far down you pull the top determines how tall your tree is. Then I'm burnishing the fold. Pull this new fold towards the cut edge. And burnish this fold. and pull this fold towards the cut edge. Try to keep the point sharp. Again, burnish the fold. Then open and unfold the entire piece and refold using accordion style pleats. The last panel can be folded in the same manner or tucked under. I'm tucking this one under because it kind of looks like a snow-capped tree then. For my second tree, I'm going to do things a little differently. Pull the top down, just as I did in the first tree. Then I'm pulling the cut edge up about halfway and finger pressing the crease. Then I pull the top half down and crease. Open and unfold all the creases and accordion pleat and now I burnish each fold. This gives me a chance to adjust the pleats. This time I did not fold that top piece back. I completed the pattern because I wanted the blue on the top. I used dimensionals in between the layers of this tree to pop it up. And this tree I used seal adhesive. For my background layer, I took a piece of basic white cardstock and used a blending brush with balmy blue ink to add a little bit of color, representing the sky. Then I embossed the piece with a snowflake sky 3D embossing folder. Some liquid glue on the back, and I adhered it to a blueberry bushel card base. I placed the tree with the spun edges on the left side of the card. This little tree I made off camera with the fifth largest deckled circle die. The tree with the dimensionals was placed front and center. Since the card base is dark, I'm stamping an inside liner. And now it's time to decorate the trees with lots of sequins. And wink of Stella till the large snowflakes brings it all to life. And here's a look at the finished card. Find written instructions and more inspiration on my blog at... If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!